Good morning students. So today when we are talking, we would talk about the advantages and importance of communication in various levels, how important it is career wise, social, socially even how important it is. We would see in corporate organizations or organizations at working, how do we have communication and apart from that even into business how would how communication is important and how would we work so in a today's session we would be continuing with this things till now what we, whatever we have learned that is going to help us out in this session which would again help us in knowing the advantages and importance why communication is important so now first when we are talking about can we imagine can we imagine any living being i'm not only talking about humans i'm talking about totally any living being without communication how would it be it is it is uh, when we are talking about we cannot imagine life without communication we actually cannot Forget about smooth life, I would say is imagining life without communication is we do not have any motive to live, we have no reason to live, we have nothing exciting or nothing in this world that, that keeps us on to live. Communication is one such thing which makes our life easy and it explores us to throughout the whole world being at one place today you know social media technology they are all so well versed that it is actually useful for us that will help us in communicating much better way wherever we are i was talking about world where else people from one planet to other planets are even communicating and I am sure we all know about this fine well now when we are talking about how important is communication into various levels first when we are talking about social socially how communication is important so when we are talking first we would talk about communication in social and personal life. This is our first point communication in social and personal life. Apart from just oral and written company communication or oral and gestures that is the body language and other things that we have. Apart from that even there is lot in communication. There is lot and lot in communication. Every little thing, even if we are traveling one, one from one place to a, a other, we not only use word traveling, it is we are communicating from one place to other. So, the same way there are various, only communication is not limited to talking, writing or gestures. It has much more to, much more to do and it has its own advantages which would help us and grow better. Today that today technology is increased and everything, competition has increased in market. For us even to be updated and to stand in the race what's on, communication is very very important part. So now first thing when we are talking about communication in social and personal life. Can we imagine social life without communication? No. When we are talking about social life, we can even call it as a social gathering. Apart from that, even interacting with people in our society, nearby us, even far from us, but yes, they are connected with us. So, they be, we are socially connected to people. It is important and without communication we cannot. 
suppose you are not from years you have not communicated with your best one of your best friends you have traveled from one place to other and you could not communicate do you think the person even knows about you or is any way connected with you even you did not try contacting now your friend tried contacting so do you think yet you are connected no i don't agree you are connected you don't know about your best friend so called best friend you don't know why we lost that connectivity we were not talking to each other we did not communicate with each other no message no talk nothing then do you think that connectivity yet your best friends i don't think and i'm sure you know even others would agree no one would take your best friends or your friends even because you don't even know about each about each other what presently is happening and what is what because we are not socially connected fine social connectivity social connectivity is very important it is very important for us to survive to stay to have a recognition in the society that we are living into i be working 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 but no way socially connected with anyone i am busy into my own world so do you think even people are bothered to know that what am i doing how successful i am or what am i no even if you are successful you have earned money and everything you need that social commitment so that communication is again very important for that social connectivity again now when we are talking about lack of communication itself can become one reason for us to lose our rapport in the market to lose our social connectivities if a communication can bring you near communication can even get you parted so communication is again a very important factor for a social and personal life fine this is one thing it is very important for our social and personal life try a task and see when you have an off or so complete two days i think one day is enough but though i am telling try this exercise and see complete two days lock yourself in the room no message no talk nothing you will not communicate with any any anyone no tv no laptop nothing because again this things are even part of communication when you are into this things again you are active on social media or you are watching at you are watching movies or anything even that is communication media media is again a part of communication which in further classes we would be even learning about those things but now when we are talking about even that is very very important so without communication without any any communication except that sleeping eating you will do nothing else for surviving this two things are very important you would do this but doing this two things even when you have no communication please share your uh, experience how was your two days how were your two days that you spent your experiences this will help you in knowing that how communication is very important in a social and personal life without communication we cannot survive or exist communicating with your friends and this thing even if 10 days leave it's less for us 10 days have just passed away but in the same way without communication no nothing nothing you will be having except eating and sleeping no other task apart from eating and sleeping that communication part no task would be done then how was it please do share your experiences this would help you and me in understanding better what are the advantages what is the importance of communication and how lack of communication is effective for us fine how it affects 
not effective in fact I would say how it affects fine so this thing we would try it up next when we are talking first is this one part second when we are talking about we will talk about communication in an organization fine C communication in an organization this is first part this is the second part communication in an organization when we are talking about an organization organization consists of several people from bottom when you enter into an office we find security peon and others till the higher level of management in an organization there are various level of people various level management has to keep see more responsibility in an organization overall when we are saying about when it is the management part they have to keep completely how are we standing in the market what are the essential things that we need to do and how to have a proper successful work going on in an organization how to run the organization properly successfully smooth functioning is it possible without communication no not at all if internal staff they don't communicate with each other would they be able to work in an organization we have various people first let's talk about the management then junior uh, like managers sales team they have other officers laborers and many such employees how would they all coordinate with each other they need to have suppose the senior person the management person the director of the company has received a bulk order fine uh, has received a very good uh, like when we are talking about an organization officially corporately they have received some big business from xyz company they need to share it with their team is it possible without communication and when we are talking about communication it can be it will be verbal when in an organization it is verbal written email fine and there are various other ways of communication too fine and various other ways because see we have uh, like various ways of calling nowadays as connectivity has improved and even social media has improved there are various methods that we can get connected and in an organization because of communication sitting at one place i can find out about what is happening somewhere else too and work out accordingly fine and when we are talking about organization it is possible that organization is operating from one place they are getting their task done from several other resources because if you know there are various such companies they allocate work to small villages too and the work is successfully done and this is all possible because of communication so now when we are pr proceeding further first point that we will take care of is effective communication effective communication is significant for proper management of organization so as to perform in a better manner fine all all level of work can be easily done only because of communication and for effective communication for effective running of any organization effective communication is most important thing fine effective communication without it 
if there is no proper communication done there will be mismanagement in work no proper channel of communication that at least the work is allocated to proper people on time what work has to be allocated to whom those things and all organization has to take care of but if there is no communication they cannot allocate proper work to in to people and timely again work would not happen because there was lack of communication fine next when we are looking into communication helps communication helps employees to perform their task and achieve targets or goals how see when in big organization or small organization any organization when they are working they have they have the set targets which they have to achieve accordingly work is segregated and allocated to the team accordingly and a successful team a good team is that which has very proper manner of communication and second thing is they achieve their target their work is completed before time on time and their targets are completed above the achievement that has to be done whatever the set target is you have achieved more than what has to be achieved and this is all possible because you had that you know communication proper channel that what any requirement you have you know whom to connect to and how would it happen faster so that i immediately work it out on it and get it done i have requirement from a other colleague of mine sitting at a different city i only need to do is mail it to the person or message it to the person the work is done guys when we are talking about effective communication in organizations one thing please remember verbal and written communication is there it's good but there are many such many such things which in written communication is more effective because it is all documented where and you have that written many thing when we tell we forget i told something i forgot and then i have no proof or people to reconfirm me the same but if i i have it in written communication i spoke to i spoke to my manager my manager informed me the task fine and then he mails me the same thing that as per our conversation you are aligned or assigned this work so please complete this work in this turn around time so and so date given so what happens is you know your task you have a written proof so you the impact of verbal and written is different when we are talking about organization in corporate culture and organizational this thing written communication is very very important not just the verbal because things are documented all the documents proofs legal justifications and everything what is done is through written communication so written communication is equally very very important fine so when we are talking about organizational this things communication in organization oral and written both are very very important anything spoken has to be documented many documents legal notices memos and many such return one 
written documents are most required thing because any memo given or any notice given those things are in written and not in verbal and that is very very important that we have to have that in return any notice any documentations legal documentations i have purchased a house fine i purchased a house and okay you have paid the money opposite person says so now the house is yours the key is given to you fine done he we both verbally had the discussion the person told me he gave me the key what more than this i want he gave me the house key the key is the house is mine but do you think legally or would you have a satisfaction that yes this is mine you would have a proof a happiness a real that insecurity doesn't cause that yes it is mine we can say yes i have given you verbal commitment i have given you the house keys why don't you trust me but many places just the trust doesn't go we need that written communication so guys oral and written again has its own benefits and advantages so when you are into the organizational things there are various things required to be documented properly so again that written communication part has to be very very strong many many things you have to document it you have to mail it you have to report it even the reports are even rep reports fine we we have shared a report of today what has happened my whole daily report that i would be sharing it monthly report annual report how would i know okay fine when we are talking about a daily report daily basis we have created a report but now monthly when i want to know do i remember everything in my brain that monthly report by preparing monthly report even if you are talking everything is saved in laptop or system again it is a mode of communication that we have saved it it is saved and that's how we take out the details and again a monthly report is generated so these things are very very important that communicate on regular basis keep the data clear Keep, keep complete data with us. Fine, and see to it it is timely worked out on. When we are talking about organizations, we have to be more professional. There, the communication has to be more professional. The casual attitude doesn't work. Professional attitude is very important. And with communication, again, when we are talking. with communication when management or people working in the company will know each others attitude nature position this few things in an organization only through communication that you can know without communication we cannot know who is into which position what is that person's role in the organization we cannot know again communication is important and you know many many times you communicate with someone we don't understand the attitude again this is lack of communication we did not understand the attitude so we could not communicate properly so in proper communication only makes us understand a person's nature attitude and that's how you know our working becomes more easier timely work again when you know in organization communication helps in saving time and money again it helps in growth of the organization because proper communication timely communication helps in timely the task being done when timely the task is done 
our work is appreciated when our work is appreciated naturally it gets us more business in and when the business is again growing the organization is growing i started up with one company now having two so that is the growth i have created a rapo in the market it helps in name and identity in the market fine it helps us a lot communication actually serves us as the foundation of any planning please remember this point guys communication for an organization is it serves and helps us basic communication foundation of communication com communication is the foundation of any planning in the organization because when communicated on time the planning is put into action more faster a proper planning is done actions are taken faster job is done faster and it is beneficial to the company and when we are looking into it outside even it it creates a great impact that at this organization or this company any work given is done on time or before time they usually don't give us false commitments this again builds a rapport a lot same way when we are talking about organizations we have third point is communication in business communication in business mainly we would be covering on communication communication in the world of business internationally even when we are looking first we let's talk about communication in business see business when we are talking our daily goods when we are taking as yes, tea sugar coffee shampoo salt etc our daily necessities our daily necessities when we are talking about our daily necessities these are all things that we daily need and it's it's must in life that we need there are various different brands in the market there are various various brands in the market all are doing their business but whose product is fast moving when we are talking whose product is fast moving in the business in this business world if we are talking about that product is fast moving whose communication is better who has done proper advertisement who has done proper publicity and who has seen to it that the stock availability everything is on time and even that is possible only with the help of communication the need when we are talking the need find an availability of goods how was it possible a shopkeeper is purchasing tea of one particular brand which is very fast moving got very good report and people are purchasing it max they have really liked it all are asking again and again for it but there is no stock availability properly because the shopkeeper is again and again telling the sales manager the sales team that please i need so and so amount of stock in my shop but no proper availability then what happens there are several competitors in the market there are several competitors in the market so they have their advantage so when the person has come to me i would not do my loss in business i don't have that stock 
fine you want this tea better than this tea is this tea try it i am trying at my home now again it's my way how would i publicize a thing mouth publicity again works a lot and the way come guys again communication your language your tone the way you speak mouth publicity again the way you speak impacts has a great impact on a business sales overall it has a great impact so again your voice modulation the way you speak it's very very important your oral communication again has its own impact because the competition is high in the market i have to survive in the business we are talking about the big tycoons in business tata birla ambani how did they survive this because they had proper channel of communication they communicated well they did good publicity proper advertisement proper stock availability their team was working on to the things because the reporting was proper every little thing in the team was organized in a proper manner so that the business had a great impact so when we are talking about the business again this things work out and few things we need to take care of when we are talking about communication into a business or organization into everything when we are talking about there are few points that we need to remember point importance of communication in organization or business and how it helps fine how how does it help first is motivation please remember this points guys communication plays a vital role in motivating motivation how a team is working fine one of the employees is actually giving his best it's nothing a small communication appreciate the work excellent work done let's cheer the person and appreciate it by cheering it announcing it that he is the he has performed the best it would help the business and organization because see when one is appreciated even others get motivated to work better perform better and so it would again have a better impact on the business because before time things are at, as the competition now has increased even among one another among the employees too so what happens that motivates so through communication in business or organization you can help motivating people one fine again second thing is decision making see when management when we are talking especially it is a tough task that they have to perform understanding people working with them and want to justify and do the best for them their decision making when they have to when they have to do they have not to be biased and second thing goes is they have to take a positive decision making and a proper decision making and how would they know while doing decision making they have to study their team properly the work done properly they have to study every little points every little thing in the business happening in an organization happening so decision making is again a tough task which communication helps and makes it a bit a bit easier it becomes a smooth decision making and a positive des- decision making too fine so again communication has a great impact on decision making third is molding employees attitude how 
how does it help in molding employees attitude see sometimes you know every people are not of same nature all have different mentality different working style different attitude that they carry but how would you positively see to it that when all are working they all mingle well work in a in a proper attitude a healthy and a pleasing attitude how can we mold it i'll give one example the first point when we said motivation taking that let us take it how can we how can the molding of attitude be done in an organization or business it is possible see when an employee joins or when a person joins the organization doesn't know anything doesn't know people whom with whom they are going to work they don't know the management they don't know anything they come with a perception but when they got in now they are aligned the task that you are into this position you will be performing this but before that again to fit into the task properly you are given the proper training you are going to work with the team you are introduced to the team and accordingly that management part is done properly they they you people when you gather you communicate with them and then you come to know people i was new in the organization but today it's one week old that i'm in the organization i came when i knew no one today i know many of them so there is some change in my behavior my attitude because now i know people and i would be working with them and accordingly so when we with any organization or business we have to mold our attitude accordingly and especially the employees attitude because see when you are working again sales force marketing team managerial people when they are working they are going to meet many such people so they have to be friendly have a good rapport with them so that it has a positive impact and that pos- that healthy communication helps in even you become having a better attitude of yours because you're meeting various people you cannot be changing according to the people that you are meeting you will have to have you will have to give the world the best you can you will have to smile and guys smile they say you know smile takes you miles so again that smile is one thing which would help you in having your attitude in a prop- proper manner you the challenges that you are going to face that one smile will help you in feeling the burden less there are challenges accept it and move further now when we are looking into communication worldwide business communication internationally when we are doing business organization and this thing when we are talking about business business worldwide the world of business and organization when we are all are inter, interconnected interlinked fine when we are talking about there are few points that we will have to again keep how does the how does an organization work i have one branch here fine my main office is here in india i have various offices in different parts of the world but my main office is this the complete work process where work allocation everything is mainly done from this is the head office i sh- i need to have proper communication so that when we are looking into there is competitiveness so if i have if i have to stand in the world competition worldwide the communication has to be faster smoother proper language study of local market because when a office is 
in different part of the world we need to know wherever our office is we need to know about the local market we need to study so that we can understand that how the competition would be how we would be standing for the competition and how would we be working what type of people we are working with if we understand them better even i think our business can be better so to stand on the business the world of business worldwide we need to be very effective in communication part because fast because i am here our head office is in india i have got a bulk order from the us client and immediately i have to inform to the us client the us office of us that this order has to be delivered by so and so date so please work on it that immediately it is the turn around time the last date the delivery date is this and this action it has to be worked we know nowadays there are many such uh, shopping sites even where we can we sit in a place and order whatever we want we get it at home this is again possible because of the faster communication fine and they again have that local study which wherever whichever market you are standing you are able to stand to the competition meeting the needs of the people and to understand the needs to meet the needs we need to understand the needs and how would we again understand by communicating properly with the people in the market if we don't communicate we will not be able to understand and if we don't understand we will not be able to communicate properly so everything is interlinked fine and then next when we are talking about there is complexity in present time the competition has increased there are more specifications into the things the quality plays a vital role people want quality again price this company is giving in a lower price the same thing why are you giving for this even a single rupee difference makes a great impact today so the complexity they want quality quantity various things everything when we are looking into when we are looking into for so things are complex when we are looking into every little requirement of the customer of the client and for any organization or business successful running they have to properly communicate study the market have a proper communication with each and every level of the market because naturally when a good a product is prepared it directly doesn't go to the market or directly doesn't go to a person's home there are various levels where everything has to be taken care and everything becomes smoother the complexity becomes easier only when there is proper channel of communication done the channel of communication has to be proper the communication has to be proper only then the complexity decreases we will be able to talk about why my product is having that 1 rupee extra what is the difference if i understand i think i can express it better explain it better fine so communication plays a great impact when it's a successful business a happy business a organization a business running successfully mainly depends on how we communicate every ways fine then see when we are talking about business and organization into various uh, like every business and uh, organization has various departments every department has their own set goals their timelines their targets so the growth and goal are again connected with each other goal see when i am achieving my goal i am growing when am i achieving my growth when i am reaching my goal then i am achieving growth both go hand in hand so for that again a proper communication is 
most important so when in, especially into the world of business fine achieving goal and growth is helped by communication communication becomes makes it easy to easily achieve the goal with communication we at least come to know how how to reach my goal and if i've reached my goal naturally my company will grow fine and then so again when to reach this we should have smooth communication or smooth process of communication that is very very important fine next when we are talking about is harmony especially guys for any business any business harmony is very very important what is harmony when we are talking about harmony employee and management are a part of a business and an organization it is harmony that keeps them connected i go to my boss when did i feel like going to my boss when my target is completed i have achieved something i feel let me go share it with my boss and i'm sure my boss would appreciate it because that nature that attitude that harmony that the person carries people feel like sharing yes i know i would be appreciated or even i would get a proper guidance that how can i do it better the next time whether it is successful or failure harmony when you are harmonious to a person it has its own reputation for you in the market people will know your brand because of you that is the impact of harmony again harmony has its own way of communicating your rapo in the market so that is how today when we know few brands we know because of the people by their name because they have created that so communication again harmony is a part of communication when we were learning the seven c's we learned courteous so that is again being courteous b is being harmonious and creating a positive impact positive vibes among your people let it be your employees or your people in the market who are buying either the shopkeeper or your retail customer so all these people we are loyal to many such brands no i will use this is only of this like when we know we, we earlier used to many brands were even now they are famous we go with it only because that name that that has been created in the market and being harmony again creates that rapo people know your product by your name fine so when we are talking about harmony fine a proper harmony helps in coordination helps in coordination and when we are looking into all this last but not the least understanding and cooperation understanding and cooperation see in every business cooperation is most important if you cooperate with your people your team with whom you are working if we cooperate with each other only then we can have a better understanding if we have a better understanding we can cooperate with each other better and that is again will add a great flavor to our successful business and how was it again possible any understanding can be any misunderstanding can be cleared is only through communication if you don't communicate you will not be able to it is for a better understanding that we need to have we have to communicate better and if we co communicate we have good understanding and we can cooperate with each other and work faster better so guys please remember these are the advantages and importance of communication into our working culture into our business business worldwide today business worldwide we are able to make a position our name our rapo only because through communication it's only that we are able to create a 
name in the complete world and the market. We are able to grow internationally. So, a proper communication is most required to be a successful person. To be a successful and a happy working person, professionally and personally, you will need communication that is most, most, most important. So, please work on it and keep in mind the points shared so that in future again it can help you to be a successful business person or working person. Fine. So, we end up today with this. Have a great day. Thank you.